going to discuss today, Larry Cordell? Well, we're, what we're going to discuss is we're going to discuss uh, Bernard Cordell's uh, move to Marysburg and the things that influenced it and the condition he was moving into. Okay, so uh, before we actually get Bernard here, maybe what we should do is uh, talk about the community that Marysburg was in. Well, Marysburg was founded along the Dubuque Trail uh, right here in good old Marysburg, Madison Lake area. And uh, the place was a clearing in the forest. And Pahi Mar, he came up the, the old trail and and uh, saw this place in the this opening and decided it'd be a great place to build a town, you know, because it would be somewhat of a waypoint and the land was already cleared. Because the whole place all around here was all uh, heavily wooded with real hardwoods. And so he was an Irish guy, and the Irish were coming here for one reason, and the Germans were coming here for another reason. Uh, so first of all, if we took the Irish, the Irish had uh, pertained a famine that started in about the 1840s, and they had chosen out of all the different kinds of potatoes to grow, there was this one that would prosper the best. But when a blight came along, it attacked only that kind of potato. And so as a result, everybody in Ireland had planted that kind of potato. And when the blight came along, They'd pick the potatoes, and the potatoes would look fine, and then after a little while, they would just turn to mush. As a result, being it was their main menu, everybody was starving. So when the Irish came to the United States, it wasn't like it was something uh, that they didn't like uh, this or that or the other about the home place. They were starving to death, and they had nothing better to do. So they uh, headed for good old U.S. of A., and uh, at the time, this was nothing uh, but a territory when they first came. What year was that about? Uh, it was about uh, 1855. Okay. So uh, they were coming here about 1855. And Maher, he donated the land to uh, Marysburg uh, before he even deeded it to him. So he wanted to build a church up there, and uh, they did. It was a log cabin. It was uh, 20 by 40. And he named it St. Patrick's, which it's not named now. But anyway, so the Irish community began to, to flow into to the uh, area. Well, the other bunch that were flowing into the area, even though they were more centrally located in Wisconsin, was the Germans. Uh, the Germans were the second biggest language in the U.S. at the time. They had uh, a, quite a population coming over. And I think that the reason that Bernard came over here is basically he was a draft dodger. He wanted to get out of, of being in the Army with the Tsar, and a lot of people didn't particularly agree with the uh, political outlooks in Germany at the time, so they were going to blow the coop and come to America. Also, uh, the Tsar of uh, Germany there, he thought that one good way to get rid of people that were on welfare was simply to send them to America so he wouldn't have to take care of them. So there was there was a variety of reasons why the Germans were coming. But Bernard's idea for coming basically was political. It wasn't uh, anything else. So what he did is he moved to Wisconsin. And uh, he married uh, Fenhaus, Francesca Fenhaus, uh, when he came, he was unmarried. When she came, she was unmarried, and they married here. They were both Roman Catholic. And when they moved to Wisconsin, they had uh, about three or four children before they moved here. And uh, I think their last child in Wisconsin was Apollonia. And uh, they had a child that must have been born here named France or named Bernard, but uh, he died right away. And some people say that he was born in Wisconsin, but I rather doubt that because the child was recorded on the Marysburg uh, death records and there wouldn't be any reason to record the child on the Marysburg death records if the child was born in Wisconsin. They would only record deaths that were here. So, so he wasn't having uh, very good luck at the time kind of a, a downer but anyway so he came to the area and predominantly it was Irish 
and it was somewhat German. Uh, there was a, a later split in which all the Germans went to Madison Lake and they started their own parish and all of this uh, back and forth between Irish and, and Germans were taking place. But at the beginning, it wasn't like that. It was much like uh, being, uh, when I was in the Army, there was a lot of people that I didn't disagree with or did disagree with in our battery. But when it came time uh, for action, everybody moved together. And that's kind of the way it, it was uh, at Marysburg. The Irish had more of a loose line on life, kind of a wider path down, and they would adjust for things that came along. Uh, they weren't particularly rich, nor were the Germans for, as far as that goes, but uh, they lived in a poor surrounding, and they lived along the Corktown Road, they called it, which ran by Marysburg. It kind of ran, uh, I would say, from uh, north northwest to southeast, uh, down into what they call the hills, which is about two or three miles down the road. And so the Irish had settled around that. And they settled there because the territory uh, to the north of the Corktown Road was very much like the uh, climate and conditions of the ground and the looks of Ireland. The Germans settled on this side of the road, and they settled here because it was very much like the uh, climate and and uh, looks of Germany. Their uh, economic and their, their views of everything, of course, like I said, were much different. They, uh, the the uh, Irish were loose, drank whiskey, adjusted for everything, lived poorly, were very satisfied with much less. The Germans were more progressive, very, very strict. Their economic model uh, meant to uh, get more money, uh, take more risks, uh, live better, uh, have the place look nice, and that was eventually the parting of the ways, but in the beginning, everyone was thrown in all at once. And uh, they were all Roman Catholic for the most part, but even if you weren't Roman Catholic, uh, Marysburg was kind of a communal graveyard, and everybody in the area from Cleveland, past Madison Lake, over toward Eagle Lake, all used Marysburg as their central point. Yeah.